good morning today we are going to see how to use catalog sorry in procurement for that we go to procurement then POs, catalog authoring will be useful in blanket POs. Okay, so, so why we we'll use catalog authoring is uh, suppose uh, if I created a blanket PO, then uh, I want to send the supplier to check whether it is a successfully or not. In that case, we will send that uh, catalog that uh, view in the that blanket pivot to the supplier, then he will rectify anything is uh, there so that uh, and, and get and send back to the buyer. This is the process uh, in catalog ordering. Right? So we already created. Uh, so I will I will create try to create a uh, blanket uh, pivot. So catalog authoring is useful to rectify any um, any errors uh, done by the buyer so that uh, he can rectify he send back to send to the supplier then he will rectify and the errors will be rectified or any corrections are done by supplier then send back to the buyer that is the um, process in the okay so the sub the, the notification will be sent to the supplier contact so we log in with the supplier contact uh, credentials then after that you will rectify that are corrected by the supplier then it will send back to the buyer that is the process Blanket catalog pattern will be useful in blanket views. So, I have given um, total description and what is uses of the blank uh, that the catalog pattern in my blog. I will leave that the blog uh, uh, in the description box so that you can see that. And they can know more about on the catalog offering. Okay. So this is taking some time, and please bear with me. Okay, so once is the uh, once also we will try to create a take one item. Um, Heat test item. Mm. Heat test item, then okay, you have to do the pricing. Right. And that like that. So we don't give any quantity in the blanket pure. So that we we'll try to save it. That the blanket pure. Uh, is a uh, number is four, then save it.
Okay, after that, uh, we'll, we have transferred to catalog or for example, administrator, we have to do it. So, I am transferring to catalog administrator. Then, so the customer contact uh, is XYZ form. I think we have noticed that we log into that XYZ. Uh, so, then what happened is we had to go to supplier portal and go to manage agreement. You have to log in with the separate contact details. I already mentioned that. And, uh, so that uh, go to ours is the uh, four. We'll check it. So it is same or not. So we, we have one more uh, in there. Three. So okay. Mm -hmm. I think that I think it's three. Okay, and then um, then yeah, go to edit mode. So then you want to after that you want to do modification. Suppose I want to give the pricing is two hundred only. In that go to save. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go to then save and close. Try to log in with the manage agreement. Then I will see the three. You have to write on the Pending catalog of the is there. You want to send it there. So uh, three is there. Okay. Mm -hmm. You want to send back to 10,000 is showing. Okay. So try to. Modify it. So, go to action. Try to modify 200, but still showing 10,000 only. That I'm uh, sorry, that I'm that pricing is 200 and uh, the agreement amount is 10,000. Then, we we'll go to pending shutter. So, we don't, we don't do that. So we will try it to sorry. Um, we send it back to the validated. Okay. Then we have to transfer to buyer. We have to click on it. Okay. Now we modify that pricing, it will affect transfer to buyer. Now if we open that uh, that is Okay, again, we will try to query for that. Incomplete chat is coming in incomplete status. Then we will try to see that pricing has come to So, this is the uh, normally if you have big uh, uh, number of uh, um, Blanket pivot, then we will try to send it to the supplier. Then he will rectify that the problem and then send back to the again back to the buyer so that the uh, corrections won't be there. And after approving that blanket pivot, okay. it had been done before approving the blanket pivot. Okay, so if you have any doubt in the catalog authoring, please uh, 
write to me on the YouTube comment section so that I can comment on it. Okay. So you have to log in with the supply contact. This is important. And uh, before uh, some, uh, approval only, you have to send the uh, you have to send the catalog registration. Okay. So if you have any if you have any doubts, please write to me on YouTube comment section so that I can prepare better. Thank you.